Hi, this is the third video in our series this week where I wanna give three tips for how to build more friendship in your life. In our first video, we talked about the, how the hundreds of benefits to building friendships tends to fall under the three of physical health, mental health, and emotional health. You overwhelmingly answered in the comment section that of those three, emotional health is the one that you crave the most, feels the most urgent which makes complete sense. That's where our happiness, our joy, our sense of confidence, our ability to feel supported comes from. It brings our stress levels down and boosts our mood. I want that for you. In our second video, we talked about the four common types of loneliness. Loneliness being uh, the desire to have more connectedness in our lives. We want more love. We have more love to give and we want to receive more love. And so uh, for some of us, we need to do that by making new friends. For some of us, it's that we know enough people and we need to build deeper friends. For some of us, it's that we might have one or two close friends, but we're at risk of resenting them for not being able to do everything for us or we don't feel like it's quite enough all of our needs aren't getting met so we need more friends and for some of us we need specific friends who understand a current life experience or stage or interest with us and guess which one in our polling was the one that was the highest need for most of you does not come as a surprise to me, but deeper friends was the, was the number one choice that many of us are admitting. We know enough people probably, but we don't know how to deepen those relationships and identify which people to focus on and how to do that. And so um, we, we end this week knowing that we want the emotional benefits and the others. Remember, physical benefits, if we feel disconnected and lonely, as harmful to our health as smoking 15 cigarettes a day. No joking. So we want all the benefits, and we know that we need to build deeper friendships. And for some of us, that means starting making new friends in order to get to that place where we have the deeper friendships. And so we want to move from a sense of isolation or kind of being on our own, not sure who to reach out to, to a place where we feel loved, connected, woven into the lives of other people in meaningful ways. So I want to give a few tips, three of them, to help you on your journey of this transformation. The first tip is to see it as a long-term commitment. That might sound kind of obvious, but you would be surprised by how many of us uh, kind of dedicated the month of January, the New Year's, to make new friends or to keep in touch with friends. And, you know, eight months later, we don't necessarily feel more connected. We, we don't stick with it. We don't pay attention. We don't recognize that this is not a short-term solution. This is something that has to be almost turned into a lifestyle. Uh, of a commitment similar to our physical health. We completely understand on a physical level how we can't just go to the gym once a month and expect to see results or we can't just go for two weeks and say that should take care of me for life. We know that it takes going consistently, paying attention and showing up regularly to actually get the results of reaching our goals and being able to maintain them. And so when it comes to our friendships, I want to set that expectation for you that this is a long-term goal, something that you are going to need to say, I need to keep front of mind, pay attention to, and keep plowing forward. The second goal is, uh, or the second tip that I want to give you is being ready to practice new skills in order to accomplish your goals. Um, you know, again, going back to the physical health example, we go into the gym and we don't panic when we get short of breath or when our muscles feel fatigued or when we sweat. We know that that's what we're there for. Like that's our, we know that that's part of the process of getting to the physical shape that we want. And yet in our relationship life, we tend to think it should happen easily. We should just be able to do what we've been doing and that somehow the results should appear. We don't, uh, we don't like feeling uncomfortable. We don't like feeling awkward. We don't like practicing new skills. We don't wanna like try something different. And yet we have to. 
In order for us to build up our relationship muscles and increase our endurance, we have to come and train and practice and set goals and say, okay, this month I'm going to practice uh, setting a boundary in one of my friendships. Or this month I'm going to practice inviting people over and get scheduling, getting friends scheduled to make sure that we have time to put in together. These are skills and things that we have to pay attention to and practice if we wanna put them into place. And the third tip is, um, <laughs> and this is kind of, kind of an ironic one, uh, but it's so true when it comes to our ability to accomplish our goals and to succeed, is research shows that we need to surround ourselves with people who support our goals. And we need to be cheered on, we need to state our goals, we need to feel the support of others to really accomplish those well. And I can hear you saying, well, if I had that, then I wouldn't need to be making friends. And I get that. And that's one of the reasons why I want to invite you into girlfriendcircles.com. We are reopening on July 19. Yay! If you're not on our mailing list, make sure you get your name added uh, in order to get the announcement and any special, uh, any special invitations we're going to be sending you. Otherwise, you can just go to girlfriendcircles.com. And what's so cool about this community is a couple things. It allows you to have this community that supports you, cheers you on, hears your goals, and um, really wants you to succeed. Because everybody who joins wants to succeed. Everybody who's coming and opting in, they're women who value healthy friendships and want deeper connection, just like you. And so the cool thing is everybody there has that heart and that intention and wants to be there for each other. And then within that community, I'm kind of like what you might call a personal trainer where I want to help you with the first two tips that I gave um, to be able to help you see this as a long-term commitment. To every month, I'll be giving a different, uh, different topic or theme and we'll be providing a class, we'll be providing a worksheet, we'll give you a monthly challenge, we'll set up a bunch of inspiration and we'll do everything we can to help you pay attention and stay mindful on that theme for the month knowing that then we're going to move to a different muscle group the next month. And every month we're gonna pick a different one to help us get relationally strong, which leads us to also helping practice new skills. There are so many beautiful skills that we wanna grow into and practice and get easier at as we make friends and make those friendships better. So I would love to be your personal trainer. I would love to invite you into girlfriendcircles.com. And above all, however you do it, I really want for you to pay attention to making sure that you hear that voice in you over here that says, I don't feel connected enough. I wish I were more loved and had more people in my life who really knew me. And I'm going to do something about it. I'm going to move my life to one where I feel more connected and seen and heard and loved. I want that for you. So whatever it takes, don't give up for your physical health, your mental health, and your emotional health. That pretty much covers it. This matters in a big way. So don't give up. Let's do this.